Now it's time to take a look at Girl Scouting from the parents' perspective. We have uh, Jeannie Viegas, who's with us, who's a parent of uh, a Girl Scout. Welcome. Thank you. Glad so, to be here. So uh, you have uh, a Girl Scout and a Boy Scout. I do. How old is your Girl Scout? My Girl Scout is seven years old. She'll be eight uh, this next month. And we're going to have the opportunity to speak with her a little later, aren't we? Yes. What has, uh, how, how did she get started in Girl Scouting? Well, in kindergarten, there was already a group of girls that kind of knew each other from being in class. And one of the moms asked if Bella could be part of her troop. She was going to be a brand new troop, Daisy Troop, in Willow Glen Elementary. And that's how we got started. So it was her friends kind of talking to her and, and, and bringing her in. All of her, her friends. It was very social. Very social network. All the girls were friends. So About it's been, 10. been a good, fun time for her. She's enjoyed Girl Scouts? She has, very much so. And she still goes to school with these girls um, in Willow Glen, and she is dedicated and wants to be in Girl Scouts. Good. Uh, and all of her friends are kind of sticking with her in this endeavor? The majority of them are. There's a few that have changed different, you know, to other programs. Okay. Uh, she started as a daisy. Yes. And we just went through the organizational chart here. So what, what else is, where is she now in this process? She's currently already completed her third year, um, second, first year of Brownie. And so she's going to her second year in Brownies. Okay. In second grade. I, I, um, I noticed that she's got a lot of um, badges on her sash. Is it... Uh, been a, a difficult or a difficult time to get her to go through the process of learning the achievements, or has she kind of been doing that on her own? Um, it's been a little bit different for um, her and Girl Scouts. She actually has been taking the initiative of the things that she wants to do. So when we first got started, it was friends uh, are fun, and from that point on, she's basically taken it on, taken the responsibility on herself. So you've seen a lot of growth in your daughter a because lot of, of the growth. program. Yes. That's great. Uh, does she know what she wants to do with her life yet? She says she wants to be a doctor, a pediatrician. Well, that's what she says. Oh, good for her. I always wanted to be a firefighter. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew. But. So um, how much time does it take as a parent of a Girl Scout? Well, that's variable because um, it depends on how many um, achievements she wants the girl wants to complete. But I would say um, maybe about three hours a week if you plan out, you know, according to all the um, achievements that you can get as far as the badges. And, and that's just um, for a regular parent? For a regular parent. Yeah. You've gone a little bit beyond that. I have. So tell me about that. Well, originally, about a year ago, I had um, a troop that needed a leader. And so I got started in having 22 girls in brownies. And um, that was a lot of work. And um, it was an experience. Yeah. Yeah. What have you learned from that process? Um, actually, that leadership is really important in teaching the girls um, to help them with their future. So um, as we move forward in the program, what would you say that has been uh, the most enjoyable for, for you and your daughter? Many things. Um, she has grown as a, as a person, a little person, and just being a little bit more responsible, courageous, and being a, little, a leader Good. on their own. You know, there, there's um, always the financial piece of this. Uh, raising funds, and uh, and you've got dues that you pay on a weekly basis, correct? Correct. Yeah. Do you know, uh, is a child or a parent uh, excluded from Girl Scouts because they, they can't afford? No, that's the great thing about Girl Scouts is they do have um, a way for parents who can't afford the membership or the dues, um, and so they help them in that. I believe it's some sort of scholarship that they get through the council office. If you could do it again, would you still have your girls start in Girl Scouts? Oh, most definitely. Yeah. It's been a great experience. Good. Well, thank you very much for uh, joining me in the one-on-one -on -one interviews. If you hang out for a little while, we'll do a panel discussion. Okay, great. Okay, thank you. Thanks.